in. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome to the second day of Kwanzaa, where today our principal is Kujichagalia, which is our self-determination. Do you understand me? Your self-determination. All right? And that is for the word today for the second um, day of Kwanzaa. You know, I came across a, a small snippet, snippet of an article. And I just want you to hear a little bit of it. And I want you to tell me what it reminds you of. The OSS, which is sort of like the CIA, I guess, over here, um, gave the psychological profile of, I want to say his name, but I know this will be demonetized too, and YouTube is really being um, funny with how they demonetize stuff. That's why I'm really working on my um, interviews and, and what's going to go on Patreon, because it's getting really difficult. Um, and the content that I want to bring, I can't really bring it on um YouTube. It's just that simple. But I want y'all to hear this because this is very important. This is the OSS psychological profile of that man over there um, in the 30s and 40s who described his use of a big lie. Okay? This is what his mindset was. And I want you to tell me what it sounds like. His primary rules were this. Never allow the public to cool off so you just keep coming with madness, keep coming with madness. Never admit a fault or a wrong. Okay? Right out the German handbook. Never concede that there may be some good in your enemy. Never leave room for alternatives. See, so that's why they only go one way. I think I talked about that yesterday, how they don't have anything good to say. Nothing. Everything is negative. Nothing where... And if it's anything good, is he did it. Oops, did I give you a hint? Never accept blame. Wow, that's a heavy one. Never accept blame. Concentrate on one enemy at a time and blame him for everything that goes wrong. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm. People will believe a big lie sooner than a little one. So come big. <laughs> and if you repeat it frequently enough, people will sooner or later believe it. Wow. Now, Goebbels did a, uh, describe the big lie in different language in an article he wrote in a 1941 article, Churchill's Lie Factory. But he was accusing the British of the ploy. But if I was to give you this playbook and tell you who does that remind you of, I, and I didn't even see this. So... I, you know, it's, it's amazing that, you know, I took on that spirit yesterday, but today I'm seeing so clearly that this is straight out of, hmm, the man's handbook, okay? Listen to that one more time. His primary rules was never allow the public to cool off. Never admit a fault or a wrong. Never concede that there may be some good in your enemy. Never leave room for alternatives. Never, never, never accept blame. Concentrate on one enemy at a time and blame him for everything that goes wrong, Obama. People will believe a big lie sooner than a little one. And if you repeat it frequently enough, people will sooner or later believe it. And that's what we have in this country right now. We have a party 
who is sitting. I mean, and when I think about the blacks for Trump, who are such Benedict Arnolds, when you think about those boys over there in Central Park and he wanted to put them to death, he wanted to bring back the, 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 the death penalty for some teenagers because he thought they beat up the lady in Central Park that was driving in at 1 o'clock in the morning by herself. Now, this is a man that if I was a black person, I'd be ashamed to even say that I, I'm interested in him. I don't even have to, uh, it's not that I have to vote for Joe Biden. I would just be embarrassed to let people know that my foundation is led by a demagogue like this. I mean, really, really. And somebody that takes um, hand notes from the Fuhrer himself. God. All right, we're going to hell in that hand basket that Farrakhan talked about. Y'all want to deal with that, though. Okay, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share the channel. And I will see you in the next video.